So it's Monday today, and uh, last night we had our first night of the crusade in Via Maya. It was a really interesting night uh, because it rained very heavily uh, leading up to the time where they should be setting up the stage and getting everything together in the stadium. So that held that off, and a lot of the groups, um, because of the rain were, that were coming in from out of town, weren't able to come. So when we started off, we didn't have a whole lot of people. There were some, we, we had a chance to pray over the, uh, the grounds there and set up the chairs. Uh, they decided not to have the full worship team just because they weren't able to for the weather, but um, they did have a young man in a worship team who just led in some simple worship, and really it was amazing, uh, beautiful worship, and the presence of God came, and we all just really had a great time uh, of, of just seeking the Lord uh, together, and um, the evangelist Mark Turner, he uh, began his message and really started to uh, confront people and, and, and encourage them to enter in, and as he was doing that, the power went out. And it was pitch black for a while, so we just uh, began to sing with the worship team, Agnes Day. Uh, they just began to lead us in that, so we sang as they put up generators and got some uh, emergency lights up. And so we ended up um, not actually having a message, but just having altar time, so we were able to pray for quite a few people. But the turnout, they said, it was uh, unlike any other crusade that they've done, um, where it was so low just because the weather uh, just kind of messed things up. So we, we felt like we were just uh, supposed to pray and that... Um, last night was really a setup for what's going to happen tonight. So we'll go back to the same place in a little while. Um, we're going to be uh, setting up there again. And uh, tonight the weather is really good. It's actually supposed to stay good the rest of this week. And so uh, we're believing that God's really going to do something, that the enemy was fighting against uh, what we were trying to do yesterday. And so we just believe there's going to be a breakthrough tonight in that city. And so we're looking forward to uh, seeing the Lord move among the people and, and seeing people get saved and, and uh, touched by Christ. So we're out here at a place about 10 minutes from the camp. Uh, it's a little town called Trash Mountain. Um, it's actually built on where all the, the, the trash from Santo Domingo comes from the city. And it's all here around here. And, and what there's a village that's attached to it, obviously very destitute. And what many of them do uh, for a living is they they dig through to find uh, recyclables that they can make some money off of to sell. Um, it's reminiscent of Shutka, which was the town um, built on the trash heap in uh, Macedonia where we worked with kids. But we came out here um, to a church, a, a small little church, and uh, started handing out candy and toys and frisbees and things. And of course, we got swarmed with kids. And so tons of kids out here just excited to see um, us come out and to have a chance to uh, just to love on them and to, to bless them. And uh, just coming here to see um, just uh, the different area here and so it's very interesting and um, we're just uh, praying that God uses us out here and um, obviously very humbling for us uh, to to uh, be able to see how other people are living um, in other parts of the world. So we just climbed to the top of Trash Mountain. We're up here now. Uh, it was a nice breeze, but the smell is incredible. The stench of just all this trash. Really, as far as the eye can see, there's just this huge mountain. And if you look out in the distance, you can actually see people who've gone in for a day's work and um, they'll walk all the way up this mountain we just walked, which is quite a ways, and um, just deal with the, the smell and the dirtiness and the contamination and uh, pick bottles up. And um, our translator said that a full day's work here, um, they'll get about $5 a day. 
and um, and so they, they work up here in the stench and in the uh, these conditions it's really hot right now and actually there's a it's not too hot of a day but if you can imagine making this climb up here and dealing with trash all day long just to try to make a certain make just to try to survive it's really an overwhelming thought as hard as it was for us for one day I can only imagine this being your life and so I want to just uh, show you a view of the mountain here <laughs> 